all right guys so we are gonna start with the rough sketch for that i'm picking up a dip pen hard and here i was actually looking at a reference at the time so i would recommend having a reference or you can just completely follow the tutorial and follow what i'm creating right here so i went back and forth a lot just to create it by the way i'm using a black color to create this sketch you can do the same you can just you know copy what i'm doing right here also i will be giving you guys a png for the color palette that i've created right here so yeah that's that you first have to get the shape of the lips ready with you and once you have that create new layer underneath the, those sketch lines and now i'm picking up this color this red color and the brush that i just showed you which was like too quick for me to read but yeah you must have seen what brush i was using and i also increased the pattern op opacity for the brush and i'm using this brush to fill the lips in and yeah once you have that what you want to do is you want to pick up that dark color right at the right inside of that main color that we picked up and you want to start putting it in the middle part of the lips so again the first step is always to place all the colors in place and you don't want to worry about them being harsh and they're not looking blended and whatnot you don't have to worry about all of that you just want to add and place those colors so now i'm picking up this brownish kind of color and placing it right above the lips again i am looking at the reference and just following what i am seeing in the picture so that actually really helps when you're like practicing digital art again i picked up that coral kind of color and added it right um, on the lower lip and yeah i placed all the colors and i went ahead and erased any parts which were like spilling out of the shape now i am picking up airbrush trapezoid 40 percent and also just decreasing the pattern opacity this time around last time to fill the whole lips in we increased the pattern opacity this time around i'm just gonna decrease it and this is for the smudge tool and make sure when you are blending these colors out that you have reduced the opacity for the brush as well because we don't want to you know blend everything out and smoothen everything up we still want to have some sort of color some sort of harshness of the color there to create that shadowy effect or that highlighting kind of effect so again yeah i'm just going over those and just blending those out if you're not familiar with how these smudge brushes work i'm gonna link a video down in the description a detailed tutorial on smudging so do check that out as well now once you are happy with the smudging bit just alpha lock the layer like this and we're gonna add more colors so for that i'm gonna be using this brush called airbrush trapezoid again and what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna pick all these colors up once again and i'm just gonna retouch everything because you know kind of the base kind of went away when we smudged it but that was the idea that was just the base and we here what we are doing essentially is we're building the colors up so you gotta have that base ready with you first so here what i'm doing is i am placing the color in a way where i don't need really need to blend those out later on so what i'm doing i'm like really barely touching the lips and just putting really less pressure onto the screen just to get less pigmentation out of it now you want to make sure you blend those outlines lip lip outlines as well as i did here i didn't show you guys on the clip but you just need to go over those outlines or that rough sketch that you, that you initially created and after that what i did i actually re-added the the black color around the mouth as you guys can see right here because it kind of um, got blended in with the lips and also what i did is i picked up the dark maroonish color from the palette and not even that i actually basically used black color you can use either a maroon dark maroon color or black color if you're using black color make sure you are you know putting really less pressure because we don't want to uh, we don't want all that pigmentation, all that black pigmentation on the lips. So what we, what I'm doing is I'm just placing this color around that middle part of the mouth so that it looks blended out nicely with 
the lips if that is making any sense and that is really essential now again you can either use black or you can either use dark maroon color now i'm gonna go ahead and pick up eraser and just gonna erase some part of that sketch lines because it was looking way too much so again for that uh, i reduce the opacity of the eraser so that i'm not erasing everything but at the same time erasing some parts which i do not like so again it's up to you you can it's up to you and up to your drawing what kind of drawing you're doing so a little bit of experimentation just do that and you will get a great great results now once you are happy with that we are going to create another layer and i'm going to go ahead and pick up a dip pen hard and now we are going to be creating those creases that we have on our lips and make sure uh, that the size of the brush is really small and you can even reduce the opacity as well if you think those lines are looking really prominent really dark you can also reduce the opacity but i'm really light-handed adding these uh, uh, wrinkle i would i don't even want to say wrinkle but like these crease creases that we have on our lips now it really does add that realism to the painting you can completely skip this step if you want to but it really does you know add that realism to the painting so again i am following the curve of the lips if that makes any sense so as you guys can see i added those crease lines at the both sides of the mouth or lips and they both are curving for curving inwards but in a different direction if that makes any sense so yeah you do that you have to do that so i'm not going to fast forward this part you can just completely follow what i'm doing and not only that you also have to go ahead and pick up your smudge tool and smudge those out because right now they're just looking too much it looks like a pattern on the lips you don't want to do that you want to make sure you're uh, picking up the smudge tool again make sure the opacity is really low and you are blending those out again if still they are looking really really um, prominent and really dark then you can always just go ahead and decrease the opacity of that layer just to readjust it and just so that it looks natural now i'm creating another layer and here what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna add some skin shades right at the bottom of the lips again you don't want to miss this part because this part is really really essential even if you are just painting lips this does add a lot of realism to the painting so make sure that in the background you either have a base skin color or if not then make sure you are adding that skin color around the lips and i'm really sorry for all the background noises so yeah just add those shadows right underneath the lips it's really easy just pick up any dark skin shade and start adding that uh, underneath the lips now i'm just going to go ahead and create another layer right above the base layer and add clipping mask to it and here what i'm doing is i am picking up the lighter color from the palette which is this coral kind of color and i'm adding it in the middle of both of those lips if that makes any sense and i also picked up this really saturated red color and i added it right in the middle of the lips now it really does make the lips pop out a lot more and in any painting highlights are as important as the shadows too. so make sure always to add highlights in each and every one of your painting no matter what you're painting but yeah so i went ahead and retouched all the colors that i have in this painting again go back pick up those colors and wherever you feel that you're lacking some specific color go ahead and retouch it with I guess I'm using again airbrush trapezoid if I'm not wrong and I hope that I'm pronouncing it right but yeah that's what I'm doing I'm just re-adding all the colors just to make sure that everything is in place so once you're happy with that you want to create another layer and I guess we are gonna start with the highlights this time around and picking up dip pen not dip pen but airbrush normal and i am decreasing the pattern opacity and i picked up white color and i reduced the opacity of that brush so we are creating a base structure for our highlights 
again you can either follow what i am doing right here or you can just go ahead and find reference for yourself but basically i'm just looking at the reference and i'm just placing the highlights wherever i see highlights in my reference and i also reduced the opacity because i just wanted it to be a base and i didn't didn't want it to be so prominent so once you're happy with the base of the highlights pick up dip pen soft and this time around do not reduce the opacity for the brush because we want all the pigmentation again make sure you're picking up dip pen soft and basically what i'm doing is i decrease the size of the brush and i increase the opacity and i'm just going over that base structure that i created for the highlights and i'm just creating these little either dots or little lines and with these little dots and little lines i am creating highlights on the lips and honestly it looks stupid um initially because we don't know but we when we you know finish all the highlighting part the lips does look really really realistic so you're gonna say what i'm talking about in a minute uh so yeah do not worry about layers make sure you're doing it in different layers like create new layer for the base and another layer for the main highlights and it really does look good so there's nothing much to explain i'm just gonna fast forward this a little bit and if you want to follow you can just reduce the speed of the video through youtube only so i'm just gonna let you follow what i'm doing here and i'll be back So yeah, here you are done with your lip painting. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do create it, then tag me on Instagram. I would love to see that. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will see you the next time.